Hello everyone, this is me again. Today, we are going to take a look at one of my favorite incarnations of Ultraman. And it's Ultraman Taro, as you might tell, from Ultraman Taro. Draw! Yeah. Okay. About this guy, well, I, he's one of my G-Fest toys, just to be honest. And getting with the accessories is a lot of mess, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, I'm not going to use those. It's accessories, but whatever. Let's go into detail. Detail. Let's talk about the detail for a second. Detail on this guy is really nice. Like, wow. I just can't believe they actually have an Ultra Act Ultraman Taro. Yeah. Why am I looking at... Okay. His feet. Yeah. His hands. Shoulders, his eyes, and his little horns, they're pokey too. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, why did I not look at the color timer? Yeah, about the color timer. It's really tiny, and if it goes loose, it's really, tiny. It's really hard to find it. Okay, articulation. He has a swivel head, neck, waist, shoulder. Stomach, sh shoulders, arm joints, hands go up and down, and left and right, and legs can move up and down, bend at the knee, also his feet can move, and, you know, can make him stand up. Also, one problem, I did not like, the, the reason I don't like this toy is because it can't stand up really well. What happened? Okay, there we go. Okay, going to size comparison. Okay. First, we're going to compare him with one of his Ultra Brothers, which is the first Ultraman. Ah. Uh, okay, Ultraman. The first Ultraman is 50, me not 50, 40 meters tall and. Ultraman Taro is 53 meters, so he should be a little bit bigger than his brother. But, I don't care. It's, I don't care anymore. Shit! Okay, and next, we go with an opponent he fought in a show, which pretty much he killed most of the, most of the Ultra Brothers. And here he is. Ultraman Taro's Tyrant. Well, I can't remember how what how what the size is for Tyrant, but I say this could be pretty good. Same size, I think. But okay. Next, we're gonna go with someone that I should not name. Yeah, I'm seriously not gonna name him. You should just figure it out himself. Uh, I'm not gonna say it. You know who should be about this tall. Or actually should be a little taller, like this size. Okay? Now go away, you fiend! Duh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, got that out of the way. Um let's go on to some Godzilla monsters, shall we? Okay, first we go with God the seventies Godzilla. Godzilla is 53 meters tall and Ultraman Taro is 53 meters tall, so I believe this is a pretty good size. Do you think? Uh, next, we'll do one of my kaiju that I've reviewed already. And you should think, just try to think who it is. Actually, I'm not going to let you think. I'm not going to let you... Well, you know, thank you too much. It's it's Ogashi. Okay. Ogashi, when he's standing up like this, he's 35 meters tall. And when he's standing up, he's 50 meters tall. So let me stand him up. Yeah, he's a little t He's the same size. And I should be a little bit tired. So... Uh, 
Okay, we'll give him a couple more. Okay, let me find him. Okay, we'll give him compare him with Rodan. Uh, Rodan, I believe, is 50 meters tall. So he's gonna be like this size. He, well, he's looking up with crap. Well, it doesn't matter. When he's, when he's, if he's 50 meters tall, he should be. That's what Ultraman Taro should be like. There you go. How do you like that, pterodactyl? It hurts. Oh. Yeah, it's really it's really a pain when you're trying to stand Ultraman Taro up. Oh, yeah, whatever. <sighs> Sorry, it's taking too long. Oh, bam it. Whatever. Okay, one more. Let's see who I got. Just be right back. Okay, we'll compare them with Gamera. Okay, so Gamera is 40 meters tall, like Ultraman. So, you know, his head off the camera. Okay, that is it for now. Until next time, this is Boskin IG88 signing off. Yay, I'm following him. Dang it. Oh god.